I'm going to Mexico for nine weeks, you know, I'm going to be up there with no cell phone signal and no internet and I'm saying it with a smile. <laughs> it's the hardest part for people to understand. I love it and it's incredible that this is my job. We arrive in Tapachula, which is the, the biggest city nearby the, uh, the field station. It's really hot, you're really sweaty, and then you still have to uh, drive up three hours through the mountains to get here. The next day you're out in the field, you're out with your colleagues and, you know, answering all these interesting questions about how this coffee agroecosystem functions. It's a dual experience of, you know, getting out early in the morning, uh, it being hot, uh, lots of mosquitoes and so forth. But you know, you quickly surpass that and you really start to enjoy uh, the surroundings. It's definitely a lot different than Ann Arbor being out here, but, but I, I like it. I look forward to coming out here in the, in the summers, definitely. I really do enjoy the food here. One of the best things that I look forward to when I get back to the field, because at that time we have been out the whole day and we are pretty much really famished. <laughs> Coming to a farming system like this and, and getting to interact with some of the farm workers and getting to know them and their families over time and then also you know, appreciating all of the incredible diversity that's here, I think is, is really much more than education, you know, it's, it's, it's my life. When I started undergrad, I majored in biology with the idea that I was going to be a doctor. I started out pre-med. I had no idea what ecology was and absolutely fell in love with it. It's just, this is the thing that I was you know, that I'm supposed to be doing. And the bonus is I'll have results that contribute to something and um, contribute to a greater cause.